life matters. Black life matters. Black life matters. Black life matters. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The protest, which started from the pipeline marks to the American embassy, is the latest Black Lives Protest campaign in the country following several similar protests across the globe. We gathered here today due to the recent happenings in the United States, the unfortunate loss of lives of George Floyd and our own Gambian brother, son of this country, who is no other than Modul Amin Sise. Uh, we feel this has been happening for centuries and uh, the world has rise against racism, saying end of is end of black lives matters. We created naturally, black or white, we all are entitled to rights. So this is we're sending message to the American government and its people um, that human rights should be upheld and uh, black people should be giving their dues. Police brutality should definitely end. It is high time the whole world rise against it. And Gambia is already a victim because just a few days after Joy Floyd was killed by the police, another man from Kudang, uh, citizens of the Gambia, was also killed brutally, uh, who is Lami Sise. I, the National Assembly member for Nyamene East, Honorable Omar Sise, um, I am representing the person in question, Lamin Sise, who, is also, who was also killed in the United States of America. So I deem it fit that there is need us, the black community, to rise up now and stand against racism. Racism is something that is real, is something that is in existence, and it is high time that we complete the fight. I was here as MC Cham uh, Jinyo not as a politician, uh, to show out my solidarity uh, to the concerned Gambians. I'm part of the group. Uh, you know, everything we have been heard, what happened in the U.S., that uh, I think every people have a, every, every life, everyone have a life to live. And about racism, everybody should condemn it. And we, we are Gambians, and we think that we one of our uh, brothers already uh, lost his life at the U.S. about the racism uh, by what happened in the U.S. So we feel like that we have to come uh, out to show our solidarity. Uh, we have a petition that we have already pre presented to the, to the U.S. Embassy. We also deliver a speak there, and during the, uh, our speak, we ask the U.S. Uh, embassy, let them start, try to stop about what happened in the U.S., about racism. And also, we also call for justice. Uh, we are calling for justice, and that's what, that is our message. On November 11th, the Gambia filed a lawsuit against Myanmar at the International Court of Justice for the Southeast Asian country's atrocities against the Rohingya population. George Floyd, 46, was born in North Carolina in Houston when he was younger but moved to Minneapolis several years ago to find work. According to his lifelong friend, Christopher Harris, he was known he was known to be loved as Big Floyd and was the father to six year old daughter who lives in Hudson with her mother, Roxy Washington. Black life matters! 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 I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe. The murder of George Floyd has brought the attention of the world on racial discrimination in the world. And this has prompted many countries around the globe to engage in various peaceful protests against racial discrimination. This by a group of young Gambians is the latest Black Lives Matter protest to be hosted in the Gambia, which is meant to show solidarity to George Floyd, 46, who died in the hands of a minor police police officer. But the protest is not only meant to show homage to George Floyd, but also one Lamin Sise, who died a few days in the hands of police officers in the U.S. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Usman Jata.